I worked for a, a lady uh, fairly recently, in the last few years anyway, whose husband uh, was slowly declining from dementia. And uh, there came a point where he didn't know who she was, although she looked after him every day. And that struck me sort of really to the core. Uh, I, I felt for her. And um, this, this poem called Dementia is, uh, is what came out of that experience. <coughs> Excuse me. Morning, how are you today? Me? I'm never better. Shall we make a useful start? Yes, I'll write a letter. I'll write one to my darling wife and Jeff, my older brother. I wonder how my children are. I'd love to see their mother. My dear, you need to understand, dear Geoffrey sadly died. It was a while ago, my love, and you were by his side. Jeff gone? My God, I didn't know, but how? He wasn't old. Why am I the last to hear? Why was I not told? Put me in touch with my wife and get my daughter too. I tell you, I'm not staying here if this is what you do. I'm sorry that you feel upset. It is a bitter blow to lose a loved one suddenly, but worse to lose them slow. I cannot phone your loving wife, although I want to do it, for I am here and you are home if but my love you knew it. Shall I make a pot of tea, the cup that cheers? None better. Good idea. And while you do, I think I'll write a letter. I know I've lost what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if all of you know that um, there was a competition running and um, the time limit for the competition was three minutes and um, I decided that I, I would Google three minutes and uh, try and work something out based around the information I came up with. And um, there was an interesting uh, thing on the internet. Um, and if I could just read a short introduction, I'd, I'd love to reread this poem, although it's, it's my most recent one. Um, during World War II, Hawaii was home to thousands of American troops. In an effort to end police corruption, martial law was declared in Honolulu, and for the red light district north of Hotel Street, this brought about big changes. Fees were set at $3, and to satisfy a huge demand, the bullpen system was introduced. This comprised a series of three or more rooms permitting men to dress and undress in assembly line fashion, with each receiving only three minutes of personal attention. Patrons became known as three-minute men, and uh, this is my depiction of one such man. A red-faced rookie, feared of death, his payload heavy, primed, abuts the queue in Hotel Street for quick release that's timed. He showered, shaved, then shut himself to think of all the shame. His white-haired mother weeping, proud, but went there all the same. This virgin child of Uncle Sam, this thunder star-striped gun, neat, creased and crew-cut killer, a dichotomy in one. The payman grabs his sweat limp bills and orders in the next. The sweet, sick smell of armpits, a directional subtext. The bullpen reeks of those before, with air that seems to burn. He quickly peels away his clothes and starkly waits his turn. A door swings wide. She calls him in, his muscles duly tense. Then in he goes, the next in line to lose his innocence. Three minutes for this homesick boy, and all he did was cry. She wrapped her arms around him tight, then sent him off to die. I am the mother who kisses his cheek, a sweet little wife, all submissive and weak, the woman he saw at the store every day, the one from the diner whose hips used to sway, the girl next door in the seersucker dress, the cousin who'd love he, whose love he could never confess. I'm Betty or Susan or Mary or June, just give me a fiddle, I'll play you a tune. A consummate actor, I should win a prize, fulfilling the dreams and desires of these guys. I may be to you just a three dollar whore, but I am the one who prepares them for war. Three minutes, not a lot of time to prove you were a man, though more than took the atom bomb to thrust into Japan. Thank you.